I need to cut something right now. I feel like I was saying something, but I've already forgotten what it was because I need to cut something. My desk is an absolute mess and I need to resurface this immediately. I just got my Invisalign in, so I might have a lisp occasionally. So you can't bully me, okay? Because I'll cry. Okay. Right, so I basically anyone who's watched previous videos will understand i am a hoarder um i will buy things and then forget they exist so i've got a couple of bags i think i've even forgotten what's in them as well so i thought let's at least do this in a video while i edit the bigger video i've got i'll start with the purchases that i am aware of because i literally bought them two days ago then i put them somewhere and realized there was other stuff already there one of the things i got is this book it's like a fake book obviously man this doesn't look like a real book does it i don't know why i said yeah it's a fake book that's obvious that point is obvious um i don't know what i want to i know what i want to make i just don't know how to go about it yet because i've got a new bookcase coming technically it's here i just haven't built it and i want to make sort of like a spell book of some sort but i don't know how to approach it because i've never done that before so i've seen different things obviously i can go for the is it deco par de deco tar i don't know what it's called i just know it exists <laughs> i can do that and then i've also seen some like plaster bandages as well that i can mold into uh on sections to raise up certain areas like i can do that as well but that would be it wouldn't be very book like i feel like the raised parts would work very well but the covering the raised parts would be the issue so palmy wants to also use like a fake leather um, I have some like thread binding, but there are many ways I can approach it. A part of me wants to buy another one so I can try which one works out better. It's going to be an interesting product project. Um, it's probably going to fail, but I'd still put it on the channel if it, even if it did fail. So there's that. Can't have that in my channel description if I don't actually follow it. We'll, we'll have to find out. I'm going to have to decide which method to take and then buy the rest of the materials and then go for it. I'm going to have to do some research first though. That's for sure. Nice and simple one. I just got some little teeny tiny paint brushes as when I did my last video um, about Sky. I was painting on like two by three inch canvases and I felt like my paint brush was a bit too big and my small ones I didn't feel like were good enough. So I picked some of these. Um, when I go for paint brushes in the store, I always go for the ones in the model section not the painting section because i usually find them cheaper you'll see they still say they're okay for watercolor acrylic and such it's only like usually like a pound a pound fifty cheaper than the ones in the painting section but i mean it all adds up if you buy as many paint brushes as i do then it's gonna make a difference so go to the model section not the painting section next thing i bought from hobbycraft is this adorable mini paper trimmer look how cute this is oh my goodness i've done a lot of paper craft videos in the past and i need to stop doing them basically because i'm not even good at it but i do enjoy them and does this look up? it does oh can you imagine if i just broke it then Dinny, tiny blade. Dinny, tiny. i need to cut something right now i feel like i was saying something but i've already forgotten what it was because i need to cut something okay what do we cut what do we cut I'm going to cut up a swatching page from my last video. Let's do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, oh my god. This is going to be so useful. And it is the most adorable cutter I have ever seen as well, which will help immensely because then I'll be happier when I cut things up. That's a good purchase. I have no idea how much it was, but it was a good, I don't care how much it was because I love this purchase so much. <laughs> okay, we'll continue with the Hobbycraft stuff. So the next stuff is older, but it's still from Hobbycraft. You can tell it's old because it's a wee bit bent. But I got a, I don't know how to pronounce it, macrame, macrame, I don't know. I bought myself a kit of this for my birthday last year, but I haven't actually opened it yet. So I need to do that. And it just shows different things so like weaving and dyeing, not techniques, stream catchers, wall hangings, uh, wall hanging, wall hangings, plant hangers, and crystals. How does crystals come into this? How is this applicable to um, the book? How, what do? Okay, 
so they do use crystals and things so that's okay at least i have an answer now that i have an answer i'm happy i also tackled the halloween section so i got these cool witches bottles i love these i don't know what i'm gonna fill them with yet but i kind of just want them for decoration on my bookcase because i'm getting a new bookcase so i kind of i don't know maybe but you know that um jelly stuff people do for candles because it looks like a liquid but i knew it would last a long time so i can maybe do that and i just need to choose the colors this one don't matter so much this can just be clear or maybe orange or something so it stands through the purple a little bit but this one i don't know maybe just black this is not a wreath it's sort of like tangled <laughs> oh i separated them <laughs> so this is a wreath um i thought it was really cute the other part of it that I just detangled is now moving on its own, but that's fine. So this was just really super fucking cute, and I don't know where I'm going to pull it yet. Again, stop it. God damn. So I don't know where I'm going to pull it yet. I mainly got it because my gamer name is Ivy. So I grabbed this because I thought it was a perfect decoration. But obviously my living room is black, white, and grey. So I don't know where to put this yet. Maybe in my bedroom. I don't know, because I have some foresty things in there. But I like it. And then I grabbed the garland as well because I'm just obsessed apparently. Right, that's all the hobbycraft stuff. I'm now going into my TK Maxx stuff. I tend to go in there a lot because I can find cheap stuff. I'm literally just going to put my, ba my bag in my hand. <laughs> I'm going to put my hand in the bag randomly and see what comes out because this stuff is old. I hope the receipt's in there so I know how old it is. Okay, so the first thing I got is a portrait marker set. Okay. Why would I have bought this? That is the question. I know I'm like, I'm out of practice with skin colours now that I I returned to painting last year. I've been too afraid to try skin colour again, so I'm definitely out of practice. So maybe that's why I got it. But obviously this isn't going to help that much because generally I would add like purple and blue tones, but this is all like done the work for you. Hmm, we shall see, we shall see. What's next? Some Sharpies! So this was £2. Which I thought was good for Sharpies. How much was the maker set? £8. Eh, what a waste of money on that. But no, I thought £2 was good for Sharpies. So I grabbed them, obviously. What is that? This is an art supply. This is just something I brought in TK Maxx. It's absolutely terrifying. But at the same time, I fucking love it. <laughs> And that's going on my bookcase when I get it. That is 100% going on my new bookcase. That is the main thing on the bookcase. Okay, and I grabbed some drawing ink. That makes more sense. I would grab that. What colours we got? Let's have a look. I mean, ink is what I use or try to use. I can't, I need to, I'm not going to get into that with that. Where is the scalpel I usually accidentally set myself on? I've had this same blade on, I think, for about eight to ten years. I really should change it, but it's doing good. It's fine. What colours do we have? We got apple green. Let's take that out. Oh, that is vibrant. Oh, I do like that. That is a very nice. We got cobalt. Again, the colour really shines through. They're really nice. I hope they come out nice on paper because I don't think. I tried this ink. I try and tend to stick to the same brand if I know it works. We've also got a crimson. Ooh. I hope you can see that. That is so goddamn pretty. My god. Then we got a canary yellow with some little canaries on it. How cute. Oh, I think that's the most disappointing. I was hoping. It looks very. I want to say separated, but at the same time. Like, it doesn't look like a solid colour. You can you just see all bubbles now from where I shook it. God dang it, but there are, like, little flecks in it. It reminds me of when, you know, nail varnish separates. Um, a lot more opaque than I would like. We're gonna have to test these and have a look. But I believe that is everything I managed to grab my hands on. Grab my hands on? Does that make sense? I don't know. I believe that is everything I have been stashing away unused. Glad I found these though, that's my most favourite thing right now. Um, so I think we should test these out and see what they're like because I'm actually looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to that. Do I keep the little boxes? They are cute but I don't think I need them. I don't think I need these little boxes. I don't need these little boxes. I'll recycle them. Let's find a blank page. 
page. This will do. God, my sketchbook is a mess. Um, I might need some water. Oh, I might be able to make use of that. <laughs> this is honestly just pure laziness. Um, don't do this because I will get this everywhere. I've never done this with water stirring before. Skill, look at that. Oh my god. I'm so lazy, I'm so sorry. I should probably say I do usually use tap water, I don't usually use <laughs> drinking water. Okay, should we start with the yellow because I, I want a blank page. No, it's fine, it's fine. I'll start with the yellow because I feel like that's the one I'm going to be most disappointed in. Okay, so these inks say they can be used outright or they can be watered down with water, which is what I usually do depending on how bright I want something because the inks I use can be quite vibrant. So let's start with yellow. One, because it's the lightest colour, so that makes sense. Two, because I feel like it's going to be a disappointment. Okay, not a disappointment. My brush is not prepared. Let's try that again. There we go. That's a bit more better. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I don't like how opaque it is. Let me get my yellow ink real quick and I'll show you what I mean. Here is the ink I usually use. There we go. You can see how different it is. So the Winston Newton one would just gradually get paler and paler, whereas this one just, it will just carry on holding its color. That one is the De La Rowney ink and this one is the Winston Newton. All right, what colour do we go next? Should we just go straight to red? And we can try and make an orange. Oh, this looks like cranberries. Honestly, this looks amazing. Oh, that is not red, but it's still fucking beautiful. Whoa, that is vibrant. I feel like it's only getting brighter the longer it stays on the paper. Why do I feel like it's changing colour as I'm looking at it? This is fucking with my brain. What? I hope that picked up on camera because that was weird. What the heck, dude? I really like this brush as well. I don't have a palette to mix. We're just gonna have to do double dip with yellow and then with the cranberries because I'm just gonna call it cranberries now. Okay, definitely need more yellow in that, but I don't want to dip back into the yellow. <laughs> There's someone screaming at me right now. I can feel it. We'll see how that dries, shall we? Right. Should we go green next? No, blue is the natural next step. Let's see how vibrant this is. Mm, again, very opaque and watery, and I did make sure my brush was completely dry. But maybe people want that look, you know? So that's fine. Um, I would mix it with the red, but I feel like... I know, I think we can already predict that it's gonna be purple. <laughs> <laughs> Which sounds stupid, but it's gonna be a very vibrant purple. You know what, let's just fucking do it. What a surprise, it's purple. Who would've thought, huh? Who would've fucking thought? Alright, last but not least, the primary colour imposter, because every fucker always includes this, no matter what, in primary colours, even though it's not a primary colour, and it bothers me greatly. But that is a lovely fucking shade of green. God damn. And if I go in with a wet brush, we get obviously a lot more opaque. I'm not too keen on the opaqueness of the natural inks anyway, so I don't really like that I kind of like the thickness of the inks I use currently it might just be me not liking change that's a possibility but I do want to check it says every color apart from like the metallic colors can be used on a dip pen and I recently got some new nibs so let's try shall we green pen green ink makes sense makes sense let's see what these are like shall we mm. Oh, hello. Hello. I feel like they're made more for nibs than brushes because you can tell that the opaqueness isn't there as much as it is on the paintbrush. I need like a little ink mixing set so I can mix colors for my nibs for using a pen, but then it comes with the whole issue of storing the color afterwards because it's not like you can put it back straight in the pot, can you? So. I need like a little 
which we, we're, I'm gonna call it an alchemy station because that sounds cool. That's what I want in life is the ability to mix my inks to whatever color I like to use them and then store them in cute little pots and then label them up, make little, little potion labels for them. Oh my god, dreams, the dreams I have. Okay, All right, next thing I'm gonna test is this stuff then let's go first let's graphic fineliner okay i don't think i've ever used one of their fineliners i'm not gonna lie i haven't got high hopes i stand by it i could see the ink soaked into the paper really really quickly as in the color fade so it goes down really black and then it turns it sort of fades as the paper soak it up so this is a brush one does not feel like a brush i can feel it actually left to right it's fine okay no but it just needed to warm up so it didn't feel like a brush at all at first it felt like it was struggling against the paper but it feels a bit more brush like now which is good but again the color fades very quickly from a black to a gray it fades really really quickly by god sharpie stink but just a quick note you can see the difference in the Sharpie compared to the fine liner. So I'll probably be using Sharpie and I'll just ignore those fine liners completely. Pencils, I'm gonna be honest, I don't care about. So let's test these. Ew, that's horrid. That is, that feels gross. And if you use markers, you'll know what I mean about how it feels. It just don't feel right at all. Like sandpaper, I guess that's the best place. The best way to describe it. I feel like in big areas this would not be good. You'd have to think, you'd have to be careful. Again, that feels disgusting. Oh God, I can't even get them out. Oh my God. Uh, I seem to be getting better color if I cross hatch them. Yeah, I feel like it goes down better if I cross it. Oh, that's nice. Oh. That's the only one that hasn't felt like it's having a battle with the paper every time I put it on. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> That's not too bad either. There is inconsistencies with their fine tips though. So, oh, these are supposed to be the same whips. However, one is very fine and one is thicker. So there is some inconsistencies in terms of that as well, which is not good. That's a nice colour. I think that's my favourite broad stroke so far. Again, this is a bit nicer. It's also finer than this one. So the inconsistencies are very annoying. I think this one in the broad stroke is my favourite one. These two feel the same in, in the fine tip. These three were very rough in the fine tip and this one was very fluid and a bit thicker. So that is going to annoy me incredibly when it comes to drawing with them, but I'm sure we'll work something out. So let's work something out, <laughs> shall we? Now I went into this not knowing where I was going to put each colour where, which is how all great drawings start out, right? <laughs> When testing this Windsor and um, Newton ink, I came to the conclusion that maybe these pens are better for fountain pens and not so much the brush. I change that opinion. There was a lot of times in this drawing where I was doing line art and these inks were so watery, the nibs of my pens would just release all of the ink in one go straight onto the paper and I'll have a huge little blop on the middle of it. I tried hiding it where I could as best as possible, but it's not, I mean, the amount of times it happened, it's just not possible to hide all of them. Ah! Why you do that? You dumbass. Mm. It had been a while, I guess. It was only a matter of time. I love the vibrancy of these inks. The colours are absolutely fucking amazing. And when mixing the colours together, you get a better coverage than you do of just them being standalone. The opaqueness doesn't, it's not as noticeable when you mix the colours. But personally, I won't be using these inks with my nibs again. Like, I know I have new it nibs, but I 
even though I class them as new, I have used them. I have used them to test if they're like okay and such and testing new colors of my other inks. So I know they hold inks and I know it's not the nib. So the fact that these inks just fucking bleed out of the nib immediately is just not ideal. And obviously maybe, maybe it's just me. I use acrylic inks normally and obviously that's gonna be thicker and that does damage my nibs faster over time because of the thickness. But it might just be a case of that's what I'm used to. I'm used to thicker inks inks and maybe I don't know how to get my nibs to hold thinner inks. Maybe I always do this, but I always blame myself. No, I'm blaming the inks, okay? They're too fucking watery, okay? <laughs> They're too opaque. They're too watery. I might, I'll use them to paint an area in the future because they make pretty gradients, but never again am I putting this ink in a fucking nib. It's not happening. Like, fuck those inks. Obviously, when it came down to it, I decided not to use the markers for skin colors. Even though that's what the marker set is for and what I probably was thinking of at the time I brought them. However, I think it's, for a marker user, it makes sense. But for someone might, like myself who uses inks and mixes colors together, I feel a bit cheatsy just taking the easy way out of markers. The whole fear I have of not being confident enough to mix skin colors after a three year art break. That's something I need to get over and something I'm only gonna get over is if I do it. And if I fail, I fail, but that's fine. I'll learn from that mistake, I guess. So I decided not to use them for skin colors and I used them for jewelry instead. <laughs> jewelry, ears, and I believe that was it. But I will get over this fear of skin colors. I mean, I already, I'm already halfway through a video where I have to do skin colors. I'll, when I film the other half, I'm sure I'll find a way to get out of it. I'll find a way to get out of it as I always do. The Sharpies though, honestly, I think that's the first time I've properly used a Sharpie in a um, art piece. And dude, that was the most pleasant thing to use in this entire art project. I say project is not a project, it's a quick doodle. But um, the way it just makes the eyes pop, I fucking love. Like I do use Sharpies more often, it's fucking beautiful. It's how it's color. Like, why have I not used Sharpies before? I know I've received some before, but I've just never fucking picked one up and properly used it. I am amazed, I am on board. I am now a Sharpies fan. <laughs> That's pretty much it from me. Just a quick one today while I edit bigger videos and convince my ass to finish the other video. But here's my finished doodle, even though I'm not overly happy with it. I'm happy with the colours. Just nothing else. <laughs>